Hello, mites. So today we're going to dig a little deeper. We're going to go a little down under for the Samsung RU7100 Smart TV. And again, this works with all the Samsung Smart TVs, all shapes, colors, and sizes. Um, and so you've had this for, you know, a good amount of time. After a while, you want to give it a little tune-up. You might need to do some software updates. You might need to clean the TV CPU, um, RAM, free up some storage, uh, just improve performance, clear cache, and so on and so on. Just like if you had, a, you know, a laptop or if you had a smartphone. You know, you actually, this, this TV is becoming like a computer. So you have to go in a startup, pretty much. You have to MS config and get rid of those apps that are always running in the background, slowing down your computer. You have to delete programs, which would be apps on the TV that you don't need anymore. Maybe you just don't have any storage left to download any new apps. So I'm here to help you guys on how you can dig a little deeper and tune up your TV to make it better, quicker, and smarter. So you're just gonna go into settings, guys, which you just grab your remote, Go in settings, and we'll go all the way down to support because I am here to support you guys. We are a team. So we go to software support, software update. So click on that, guys, and you might have it set to auto update. You might not. Um, in either way, you just hit the button and go update now. And it's going to search and see what your latest update is. Um, just like if you have a smart TV and you have to update the newest operating system, or if you have Microsoft on a laptop, you have to have the newest version to make sure everything's fresh and clean. So I did, and it says there is no new updates. And I did do all this last week, guys. I'm doing it again today, so you won't see any huge differences. I'm just doing this again to actually show you guys, because, uh, you know, I'm a good guy. You know, how you doing, huh? All right, so let's go back into support, guys. And now we're going to go in self-diagnosis. Diagnosis, and it is, let's see, we hit that, and then we go inside to TV Device Manager. And as you can see, this is going to scan and clean the TV's CPU, RAM, storage space, all important stuff that you need. Okay, guys, so let's go down a little bit and show you everything. So the, here's where we can clean everything, guys. It's always good to clean stuff. So we got the memory boost to the left. That's going to improve performance, free up memory, clear cache memory. And so let's see what that does, guys. You're just going to hit, you know, enter on your remote and clean it. And again, I just did this, so you're not going to see a huge CPU boost. But if you haven't done this since you bought the TV, you know, you should notice a difference, um, which is great. So then it's going to go to the RAM. And as you know, the RAM means, you know, how much apps or programs are running and draining your TV as opposed to, you know, your computer. And if you have too many things running, then it slows everything down and we don't want slow. So again, this is going to improve performance, free up memory, close unused background apps. Great. We want that. So just hit OK and it's cleaning. It is cleansing the soul of your TV, guys. And, you know, again, this stuff doesn't take long. It's every, it's good to do every so often. I would say at least once a month. Um, you could probably do it once a week if you wanted to. And it's just about done. And there we go. So now we're on to the next one. And this is manage storage. This will free up storage by deleting unnecessary data, um, apps you don't use anymore, residual files, things like that. So we can actually just click on that and it'll show us the app list. And again, you, this could be like bloatware when you first bought the TV, just like when you get a laptop, they put all this stuff on that you don't want. So, you know, these could be programs you don't want. You know, maybe you don't want AMC, maybe you don't want P PBS Kids, Disney, Crackle, Snap, Crackle, Pop, Amazon Music. Um, you know, and you can just scroll to the right. You know, we're gonna see you know, maybe there's something you didn't even know you had. Maybe you have too many apps and now you can't download new ones. So we would go through, you know, and see what we want to delete. So let's go all the way back to the left, guys. And let's see what I can delete in here. Um, so let's delete PBS Kids. And if we go a little higher, we can see the options, guys, which actually allow me to, you know, delete this stuff. Or I can just select it all. And if you go to the top, you can see it says Use and Available. 
so you can see how much storage is left and how much you've used. So I actually do not have a lot available, um, which is a no-no. Um, but again, you can go to view details, guys. Say you don't want to delete the app, but you want to, you know, you want to clear some data or do other things, and you can actually do that right here if it's an app you use. I've never used this, so there's no data, there's no cache, there's no, you know, total that uh, that I would release. But if I delete that app, I'm going to get 204 um, gigabytes of memory released to download more storage in the future. So let's try and delete this puppy here. So we're going to just check it. Oh, no, not that way. You go up to the, you hit the box, it's got a check and you can do this for all the apps. Then we go to the top right and we're going to hit delete and okay. Yes. So sayonara, bye bye, hasta la vista, baby. You know, and again, this is going to Give me more storage and make everything quicker, smoother, all that good stuff. And again, go through all your apps. This is managing the storage, or you can look at it like your C drive on your computer to free up more space. Um, so that's actually about it, guys. You know, um, these are just things that you want to do. Um, self care, self help. But I'm here to help you, you know, because you guys are good guys. You guys are my fans. So, guys, that's about it. Any questions or comments, leave them in the box below. And if you check the description, there is links to purchase this TV. And there's also links for other videos I've done on this TV. I've done an overview when I first bought it. Uh, I've done best picture settings. Um, and if you want to purchase it on Amazon, the links are there. All that good stuff. So uh, please give my video a thumbs up, a like, subscribe. Ring that little ding, ding, ding notification bell if you haven't already. So you can be the first cool kid on your block to see my videos when they're uploaded. I do appreciate it. So that's it for now, guys. Take it easy. Sayonara. See you later. Alligators.